100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rayman, 24K Golden, featuring Ian Dior. In the mix with their hit single that's out right now, Mood. Right about now, the time is 11.30 and it's all about chat trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. Of course, doing in the day with DJ Brusha. Brusha, how you feeling on this Friday, man? Awesome. I can see it. That's it? That's yeah, that's awesome. It. That's it. See, I gotta do what the camera man say do. Okay, okay, so, yeah. okay. There you go. Pressure coming out a little bit. Yeah. You comfortable now? Yeah, man, I'm sure. I'm good. All right, good. So you think you say you're feeling good on this Friday? Yeah, a little cool, so you know, I start to yes. well. I'm happy that this weather came back. So you're ready to get the weekend started? Of course. And last night was awesome too at Fusion. So if you miss it, uh, you miss a good party. Exactly. If you miss it, you miss it. But definitely, pressure man, I will be there. I will be there next sure. um, next Thursday. Definitely got to come out and support. But right now, let's get in the chat trap, letting you know what's happening right here in the media. So, of course, if you missed it last night, you know, you could have tuned in on a channel, things channel 208 on Cable Bahamas to watch the Peter Nygaard, the secret videos, because, you know, the Canadian fashion executive, he was charged with sex trafficking, racketeering, conspiracy, and other crimes that involved dozens of women and teenage girls as victims in the United States, the Bahamas, Canada, federal prosecutors in Manhattan, and just a whole lot more. So, um, actually, there's a four series, and Pressure, did you get to take a look at it? I did not you didn't have a chance uh, last night. Yeah. Okay, but more than likely, well, the link actually was shared to Facebook, so I'll be, um, you know, checking out that. I'll probably just share it over to you because I got to watch that tonight because too much is going on in this little country that we live in. But right now, too, it seems as though T.I. and Tiny has found themselves in some hot water because these days it looks like T.I. is finding himself... Oh boy, and all kind of problems, you know, dis dis despite the whole issue what he was dealing with with his daughter checking a hymen every year, then you know, all the cheating allegations, all the rumors that him and Tiny always have to go through every year. Right now, he's accused by a female that goes by the name of Sabrina Peterson of holding a gun to her head. And apparently, Sabrina stated that T.I. has a history of violence against women and children. And she came with re receipts. Two, along with 15 other women accusing T.I. and his wife, Tiny, of sex trafficking. Brush, how you feel about that? Sex trafficking, T.I. and Tiny Harris. Time out. <laughs> so you're saying uh, uh -huh. T.I. and Tiny yep. is selling producing? That's what it's all like. It if it's sex trafficking, uh -huh. you have to be selling it. Or yeah. trafficking, trafficking to someone else, right? Yeah. So they're in a uh, pimping business. Uh, that's, that, that's what's being said by Miss Sabrina Peterson. That's what's being said. Why though? I don't know. I don't know. My hands is up with this one. At this point, I don't even know what to believe anymore because, you know, they, they went for R. Kelly. They had receipts for R. Kelly. They went for Bill Cosby. They had receipts with Bill Cosby. So maybe they got receipts with T.I. and they, they honestly do have women that came forward. So maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. Who knows at this point? But listen, it's an mm -hmm. industry for you to have all this stuff discreet. Uh -huh. Meaning, all this money you have, yeah. You invest in your time in this when you could have just invest a couple dollars and get you fulfilled and push out. Yeah, well, apparently, let me tell you some more now. Let me tell you the rest of the news. So some women claimed that they were forced to take drugs while other women said, well, another woman said she was paid $3,000 for her services after being asked to take drugs um, before having sex with T.I. And allegedly, some of the victims are as young as 15 years old. But Sabrina Peterson, she's been using her Instagram account. Um, it's at the Glam University, if you want to check out this story. And she asked women to send in their stories and experiences with T.I. and Tiny because she's considering compiling all the messages she's got to take make a documentary about the alleged behavior. So T.I. hasn't responded yet to this. But do you... So she pressed charges? Um, no, she said that she didn't press charges. Of course, you know, going against someone big as T.I. And, you know... She First off, Bill Cosby is locked up. And they are locking up R. Kelly. So T.I. isn't too big not to get locked up if which he is. Which I agree. Too. Which I honestly do so agree. So it sounds like uh -huh. she's trying to make a payday. If yeah. she ain't pressing charges. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Correct? Well, yeah. All I right mean... Then. Uh, All right. Uh, if you could say... Oh, I don't watch it. If you could uh, say... That's a hard one. If you could say, this guy did this, that, 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 and you don't press charges, but you want to put together a documentary so you could basically tell the world what he done... Uh-huh. So you could accumulate some funds right. after that. I stay in the public uh, it's eye. A, for it's some a money run. I mean, you... It's you, wrong you, if he is doing it. Well, if he did it. Right, if he did it. Uh -huh. But it's also wrong that she isn't going to uh, take them steps to yeah. actually say, well, 
just what he did. This is what actually occurred. If you just say it, yeah. Well, yeah. it's sad to say, even a friend of theirs, an ex-friend of theirs, also stated that, you know, she experienced um, some of these things as well. So it's like, it, it, it's not like it's just this female, but it's other females. And I think it's, the number is actually above 15 right now. I think it's a bit about 19 women or more women that are continuously coming forward about this. And honestly, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it, it could be true. Some faults could be there. I don't know because, you know, none of us was there to really know what went down. But if you have 19 women coming forward, something about it got to be true. It's Some a little bit true. It's a little bit true. It ain't too far-fetched. Yeah. You know what I mean? But how I feel, though, is they have too much money. Mm -hmm. Too much money feel just make you feel like you're untouchable. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? In the case of Nygaard, Bill Cosby. R. Yeah. Kelly, or they have too much money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not saying money isn't good to have, but when you get bored of having money, you uh -huh. do some dance, bro. You know what I mean? Which you do true. some dance. So hopefully T.I. is in the clear and it ain't, it ain't true, but hey. I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping that it's not. I'm hoping that, you know, they clarify the situation as soon as possible because T.I. hasn't responded as yet. But I'm pretty sure, you know, they'll come forward. And, you know, T.I. probably just trying to put all these big words together to try to figure out. Expeditiously. <laughs> <laughs> to try to figure out what yeah. he's going to say and what how he's going to handle the matter. What you feel she should do? What you feel her next step should do? You as a female. Sabrina Peterson? Yeah, what you feel she I should do? I don't know. I'm not in the shoe. I'm not even going to get into that. But Maybe as a woman. Oh, God. Just as a woman. I don't know. You don't know? Precious, this is, this is a difficult, this is a, honestly, it's a hot topic. It's a very boiling pot, very hot boiling pot. And I just don't know what to say, what, what's true from what's not true. Because so many accusations are made daily about, you know what I mean, these men. You know, Nelly, he was, um, he was even accused right. of sexual assault. And that was handled under the table. Right. You have Trey Songz who just was accused of certain things. I'm saying you have so many males in the game that are constantly being accused of sexual assault, sexual harassment, this and that, sex trafficking, whatever it might be. So at this point, you just never know what's true and what's not true because Nelly did handle his sexual assault battle outside of court. All right, but I can tell you so, this. Uh -huh. The truth don't change. It doesn't. A lie, though. But the yeah. truth, though. Which is true. You know what I mean? So if I innocent... Hey, mm -hmm. let's see how this is called, but you gotta yeah. prove to like, me. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's just take a lie detector test and call it a day. Right, that's I what just say with that one, just to give it up. But even um, since we're talking about this, um, you know, the hottest situation was going on with Major Hype and his ex girlfriend, Kirby. Mm -hmm when that had hit the headlines and right now it's stating that you know the popular comedian he was actually booked around yeah well he was just recently booked on felony kidnapping charges one kind of simple battery which is a misdemeanor and felony terrorist threat and the document also shows that you know basically um yeah everything that's just happening with him and the fact that his bond is set at sixteen thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars that's a low for, bond think what, so? he, what he charged with that's a yeah. low bond yeah yeah, but oh um, man, I don't know what's going on with these males in the media. I really honestly have no idea. But hey, hopefully, but you know, this is go two ways though. It does. Because you know, even though, all right, put it like this. Mm -hmm. If I'm a superstar, mm -hmm. right, you know, it attracts certain people. Yeah. That's used to certain people. We haven't used the right, the, the right term, but certain people. Yeah. Now, everybody playing this game, whereas I got to make this bike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, some will use it to their advantage and get that bag and others will mm -hmm. hold on die me i really like this like you as that person you know what uh -huh. i mean so everybody trying to get that bag right i, I agree like what you we know? talked like what we talked about yesterday being an entertainer yeah. is not an easy job when it comes to dating when it comes to dealing with the public when it comes to whatever you're doing because as you grow as your name grow a lot of people just want to just say something about your name or have something to say or just something to do with it just for clout just to get some money, just to get some fame themselves. So you got to be careful in this business. But nonetheless, it is what it is. But I want to end on some positive messages with Miss Shensia. You know, she's been killing the game with a uh, spree of endorsement deals. And she even has her own eyelash company now. And Shensia just surpassed Spice to become Instagram's most popular dancehall artist. And she's also putting her good fortune to good use. And Shensia cashed out on a hillside lot in Jamaica. And once she took a picture, she captioned it on Instagram, stating that she feels good to stand on what she can call her own which is close to the heaven so congratulations to Shensi. at least she brought some light today right real and fellas pull out the paperwork yeah it ain't at all just pull out a contract uh -huh. you know what i mean if you're in a situation where it's even a one night stand pull out that, yeah pull out that paperwork hey whatever we do here 
That's yes. it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Put a lot of paperwork out. So I say, if you know you got a big name in this country, you got a big name anywhere. Like Precious say, put the contract out. Write the contract up real quick with quick, the female. Quick, quick. Real quick, all yeah. right? But that's it for Chat Trap, letting you know what's happening in the media right there. 11.30. About to jump back into the Mixed Man T.I. featuring Young Thug right here. If it ain't about the money.